Hi, this is Anna, and this is a part two series of let's figure out what the hell is going on on the single cycle CPU diagram. And in this video, we're going to cover add and add I instruction. Um, instead of drawing by hand, my handwriting is horrible, and I did want you to concentrate on trying to figure out what I'm actually writing. I wanted you to concentrate on the diagram. I found this program to draw a pretty, pretty diagram for you. Let's start with add instruction, the easiest instruction that we covered in the previous video. Uh, watch it if you haven't. It would be easy to follow along if you watch it because you would know the example, but if you feel very advanced <laughs> the pressure, Anyways, this is how the add instruction looks like in MIPS manual, and we can insert it here for reference. So we don't have to go back and forth. What we're trying to do is to add T1 and T2 and save the result in T0. So our goal is to store 7 plus 5, which is 12, inside T0. If you look at the machine code format, we have these registers RS, RT, and RD. Our RS and RT are the source registers. They hold the values 7 and 5. The result will be saved in the destination register RD. So um, I think I've already done the calculation. 5 plus 7 is 12. Uh, we want to store 12 in RD. Yeah, <laughs> so let's start with the instruction phase. The CPU grabs our instruction from the memory. Let's start with the program counter. It will send the address to the instruction memory so the CPU can fetch the current instruction. We need to connect the adder to the PC so we could automatically add four to the current PC value since its instruction is four bytes. And this will give the address of the next instruction and it will loop back to the PC ready for the next cycle, unless it's a jump or a branch. Now that we have our instruction in the instruction memory, it will split our instruction into a binary format. Let's add the control unit first. Control unit is a brain of the single cycle CPU. When the instruction comes in, the control unit looks at the opcode bits and it will decide what kind of operation we are going to do. That it will send a bunch of control signals. Do you see here on the right side, I have them listed. So let me just put our add instruction here in parallel to line up with this left wire here so we can see which bit goes where. Uh -huh. Our opcode bits are 31 through 26, so they go into a control unit. Now let's add the register. Okay, so now the register file reads our T1 and T2. Um, they became our source registers, remember RS and RT. So RS will be bits 25 through 21 and they go into register one. Let's make a line a little longer here. Now, RT bits 20 through 16. Let me stick the max here into the right register. We need the max here because the CPU can write results from uh, different sources depending on the instruction. You will see why when we be talking about the ADI instruction, but the max will decide which register number we are going to write to. So RT are bits 20 through 16, right? And RD bits 15 through 11, both go into a max instruction. So control unit will tell our max to select RD register as the destination register. Now let's add ALU control. ALU control is a control unit. <laughs> it's a little bit confusing because we're going to have a control unit and ALU control, so <laughs> I hope I don't confuse you. Let's unpack what each one means. So we have a main control unit that looks at the opcodes bits here, 31 through 26, but ALU control looks at the lower bits 5 through 0. While we talking about the control unit, control unit is going to set the register right to one and will tell the register file that the result should be written into register. Let me add the right enable here. 
control unit also goes into ALU control and they will let it know that this is an add instruction which is an R type instruction. Okay, we need to add another ALU. And let me just move our instruction to the side so we make more space. Okay, we need to connect our control unit to ALU and this is where CPU decides what kind of math to do. ALU doesn't think on its own, so <laughs> let's think about it. Let's take our RS. So here's our decode phase, <laughs> ready? RS goes into bits 25 to 21. RT goes into bits 20 through 16. I think it's like a third time I'm saying this. I hope you memorize it. So these are read registers. Now they need to come out on the other side. So let's connect read data to ALU. Let me just make it pretty quick. Here it goes 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 into LU uh, on the right side and arrives here. Now let's connect read data to here. Our RT is ready to go here. It's waiting here at ALU. ALU knows that it's an add so it will add 5 and 7 and <laughs> drum roll please. It's gonna be 12. 12 is ready to come out. Let's look on the left side. We have our RD register that will go through bits 15 through 11. Yeah, so we need to send our result back to the register file and write it into our register. Do, 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 do. Here 12 goes, goes, goes into a register. Here we have our RD now with value 12. So 12 now will be stored at T0. Uh, okay, one instruction is ready, another one, ready, set, go. Let's look at the add I. I hope the first one was pretty understandable and easy to follow. Okay, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment, okay? Um, I'm working on my diagram skills. If you have any suggestions how to improve it, let me know. So. The instruction in our example will be adding will be adding 5 to 12, right? Um, 5 will be added to T0. And since T0 had a 12 in there, we're going to have 17 as a result. But in our RT register now. If you look at the add I instruction, uh, it doesn't have a RD register. So, okay, so first phase. First, the CPU will fetch our add I instruction the same as an add and increment the PC by four. Remember, if there are no jumps or branches, um, we'll do this loopy loopy here. Then instruction memory splits our instruction into a binary format. That's why we have uh, this instruction here on the left, on the right side, so we can see which bytes go where. Now we're ready for the decode and register phase. Now we can put our RS to the read register one, right? So that's all the same. It will go through bits 25 through 21. It's ready to go, similar to the add. We need to change register destination here from one to zero because this is a different type of instruction and register destination of control unit will tell us which field of the instruction becomes the destination register number. Before we used RD field, remember with bits 15 through 11, but now we want to use our RT register as a destination with bits 20 through 16. How are we gonna do it? ALU up is going to record that it's add I, I type instruction. And now our max comes in handy because for this type of instruction, we'll choose our T as a destination register because we set registered destination to zero. What we need to do now, since maxes are so handy, we need to add another max here on the right side. We just grow and grow our 
diagram. That's why it looks so hairy when you just look at all this instruction types together on one diagram, but it's easy to build it on from one and then add another one. We can connect the read data to, to the one side of the max, and now we need to add sign extent unit. This is where our immediate value gonna go. So five is our immediate value. It goes down, down, down here. Look, it's the last 16 bits. We have a wire here for five, five through zero, right? But, um, hmm, but our immediate says 15 through zero. <laughs> Um, they're gonna go into extent unit, right? So 15 through 0 is gonna go into extent, but the 5 through 0 is gonna go into ALU control. So the control unit figures out that this is an add I instruction I type, and it tells ALU control what type of instruction this is. The ALU control signals the max to make sure it performs addition. Control unit also sends a signal to max saying to use immediate value this time. That's why they both go into max. Max is working. Oh, max is working over time here. Uh, so we have our RS register with value 12 ready. Now we can send our immediate value out through sign extent unit to max. Max already knows to choose immediate value, right? So it will go to ALU now. ALU will add 12 and 5 and it will hopefully calculate 7 as a seven, 17 as a result. Yeah. 17 travels over to the register file here. Do, 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 do. It goes. We don't have our RD here anymore but we have RT register bits 20 through 16. So that would be the wire that goes to the left side. Max will choose zero, right? And they will go into the right register. So that's how it comes down to the register file and waits for the value and here ready to receive them. <laughs> okay, we got 17 now in T0. We just add, so we just covered add and add i, which is uh, just two types of instruction. In the next video, we're going to look at the uh, load word and store word. So stay tuned.